All right, so in that last one, we created a ref using React's shortcut to actually create a reference to any given input. This is not the only way you can do it. Um, so I actually created a new field, a text area field for content, right? So it's not really different than the input other than the fact that it's using text area now. Uh, so we can create a ref in here in line, right? So that's another way to do it is in line. Um, so all I do is node fat arrow equals to this dot whatever I want to call my input. So input, and I'm going to just call it content ref, and I'm put it equal to that node. Okay, so this element right here is pretty much whatever you'd like to call it. You'll you'll see L in here as an element. Uh, you'll also see element. You can you know you can write anything you'd like. Um, node is what the documentation uses fairly often, so that's what I'm going to go off of is their docs. Um, of course, that might change, and I believe they actually recommend doing it this method where you create it in the constructor for general use cases. But sometimes you need more nitty gritty stuff, and that's where this comes in. Okay, so now I've created this reference, but it's slightly different as you will see in just a moment. All right, so this handle focus click here, I can try this button out like we've seen before right here um, to reference that content, right? So I'm gonna just change out the reference names, save it, and I'll run focus. Now it did seem to focus on that input, um, or did it? Well, so like we've got this this problem here, so it's giving us an error. And if I actually try to submit my message, notice that it's focusing in, in on there and it says, please fill out this field. Now, why is that happening on this other button? Well, these two other buttons are by default using a form submit, right? So they're they're just submitting the form. So that's where we'd come in here and do event.prevent default for the focused and clear, right? So we don't want those things to happen. So that's important as well. Okay, so now that that happens, if I hit send message, it's still focusing on the thing that's required um, because I made it required, right? Now, that was done on purpose to show you that the focus events do happen. Now, now if I type, uh, or rather, you know, focus on something else and hit focus, it will give me this error. Now, the error is because of how we defined our reference. It's actually, we don't use current anymore because that's the only reference for that one. So we can just do focus. So now, changing current away and hitting focus, it is still grabbing that same reference and we can still use it inside of whatever the value would be. So, um, Chain, grabbing input current ref in here. I could still grab that value, but we just don't have the current. So that's where you do it in line. Um, it, gives, it does give you some more nitty gritty stuff because we can we can run things in here if we needed, right? So if I, I needed to add more things related to this reference or this, this element, this is where I would be able to do it right in there versus um, having it you know already created. Of course, there, there are other ways around that, but, but sometimes you'll see that where it's, it's, it's doing some additional things for whatever that reference is, and that, you know, in here is how you would be able to do it. Okay, so that's where the nitty gritty stuff comes in, uh, but you will see this. For sure, you'll see this in, in tutorials um, all around where they create the reference right in there just like that. Um, there are some more advanced uses, which we will start talk about as to why you would have a reference in this manner. So stay with us. Uh, make sure you subscribe to get everything. We'll be doing a lot more React stuff. So um, look forward to talking to you about all that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.